Dave Kibo from Film School in a Box. Today I'm going to show you how to create moving split screens like in the TV show 24. First off, let's take a look at the scene. I was at the club. See this ring? God! <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex. Oh my God. No, Come on, Come on. Get me. Shut up, Sharon. Now, next fly here, I'm gonna be really fucking pissed off. Where'd you go after the party? <laughs> okay, so the first thing we have to do is to import our footage. And we've got three different pieces of footage, and we have to bring them each into the timeline. Alright, now let's use Control Click to create a new track and drag our V1 up to V2. And I'm going to want to lock my audio tracks because I want to use this as my master audio and I don't want to delete it. Drag in the footage and repeat. And while we're doing that, I'll tell you about the next step. Uh, my intention is to use the slaps in order to cut on so that we're cutting on an action. In order to do that, we've got to find them. So there's the first one right there. And now I'm going to hit M for marker. So I know exactly where it is and scroll forward to find the second slap right there and again hit M to create a marker and now I'm gonna hit B to bring up the blade tool and cut it at the marker hit A to bring up the arrow click on the footage and delete hit shift up arrow to go to the first marker B for blade A for arrow delete. And there you go. Now let's watch the slaps. There's the first one. And here's the second one. Perfect. Now I'm gonna want to turn these video tracks off so I can focus on track one. Bring the playhead to the front and double click the footage. Now let's go up to the motion tab. I want to make the first piece of footage move to the upper left corner of the screen. And to do that I have to create my start point. I'm going to set my keyframes exactly where they are. I'll set all my crop keyframes at zero, and I'm going to move the center, so I'll set that at zero as well. Now let's go to the slap, which is going to be the end of my motion, and return to the motion tab. So since I've already set my starting frame, now I want to create my last frame. And to do that, I'm going to use crop in order to focus the attention on the action. So let's cut these guys out of here and get to what's important. All right, that's good right there. And I want to move this up and to the left, so I'm just going to click and drag it up here. Keyframes have now been set. So let's watch it so far. I was at the club. See this ring? Perfect. Now I'm going to bring in my second piece of footage. Let's go back and turn the second track back on so we can see it. Double click the footage to bring it into the viewer and bring the playhead to the front of the footage. Go back to motion and let's set our keyframes. I want to make a vertical window to fill the right side of the frame so again I'm going to use crop and then just click and drag over here. At this point we haven't set any keyframes so we have to return to the motion tab and push all the keyframe button for each of these values that we've changed. All the crop ones and also the center because we've moved the center. Now I want this window to move into the upper right ending with the slap. So let's find our last frame. Alright, now let's crop the footage and then click and drag and move it up here. Okay. So we're at our final piece of footage now. Go back and turn on the third track. And then go to the front of the footage. And what I want to happen here is for the footage to zoom in from the right side. So I'm going to advance three frames, double click the footage, and then go back into motion. This time, instead of setting my first frame, I'm going to set up my last frame. Use motion to crop, click and drag, and then let's go back to the motion and set the keyframes. Now this is going to be our end position. Bring the playhead to the front of this piece of footage. Now let's drag it out of frame. It doesn't go though, so let's add a 
couple values here, 900. When I hit return, you'll see it fly out of frame. And all the keys have been set, so we're good to go. Let's watch it. I was at the club. See this ring? Shut up, Sharon. Yes. Now, next lie here, I'm gonna be really fucking pissed off. Where'd you go after the party? Are you a fucking masochistic asshole? Are you getting off on this shit? No, no, huh? Huh? no, 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 You must man. think I'm fucking stupid. Oh, God, huh? no, man, I huh? don't think you're fucking huh? stupid. Oh, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and to see more, please come to our website, www.filmschoolinabox.net.